Uh, thank you. I'm really uh, thrilled to be here. You know, I, I always enjoyed the art cars. Uh, Warhol's car, Roy Lichtenstein's car, Stella's, Calder, all the cars are always fantastic. And I just wanted to participate. You know, the art world, it's, it's like a family. And I just wanted to also be involved in this dialogue of designing an art car. And, uh, you know, today I'm proud that uh, this car is there alongside their work too. I was trying to really just think about energy and the design of the car and where the car would have an interaction with energy and to show its potential for speed and power. Uh, the inspiration, I looked at images of uh, novas exploding, I looked at all forms of uh, explosions and uh, how energy uh, repels against something, just the display of energy. The reason for the number 79 on the car, BMW told me that I had the possibility of having the number 79 on the side of the car. And they informed me that Andy Warhol had that number for his car, which was made in 1979. And I was thrilled with the connection uh, to be able to have that number. So I'm proud that it's on the side of it today. Whenever you work on a special project, things come out of it. I really kind of took a journey into an area of just following my interests. Well, what would I do with a car? How would I try to add to this tradition? You know, to be able to have something that could be on alongside this, uh, the other art cars and to add something to this vocabulary. So it was a process and I ended up looking at Razzle Dazzle and how that's been used to uh, extenuate uh, features of something, not to hide it, but to extenuate something. So I took a journey and I came out of it an artist with a, a vaster scope on uh, the visual understanding of possibilities uh, with art. So it was a lot of work. I worked every day on this car for about six months. I mean every day, all day long. I would be working of just moving one line, you know, a half an inch up or down, changing a color from orange to blue. So for six months. But uh, I walked away from it uh, with a vaster uh, understanding of possibilities. When I, when I designed the art car, I had two different uh, directions to go. My first choice was to work with lenticular. And lenticular is a changing image. So I wanted to have the car always exerting maximum power that as it would be moving around the track, it would continue to shift and when it would be coming at you, look one way and then right when it would pass, it would be exploding with more power. But that would have added too much weight to the car. So then I went with uh, plan B, which was you know, to work just with a, a, a vinyl type paint surface. You know, I, I've driven BMWs. I always had a, a BMW kind of sports utility uh, vehicle. And when I did this project, BMW gave me the choice of any two BMWs. So I chose the two most expensive limousines, loaded to the hilt, and then I donated it to the International Center for Missing and Exploited Children, both cars. On three. Okay. One, two, three. You're not going to look at it with both your hands again.